Hello friends, this video on food, where does it come from? Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Food, why do we need food? Variety of food, food ingredients, sources of food, types of animals based on food habit, herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. So food is a very common term for each one of us. We eat food and why do we eat food? To survive in simple words. So what, how would you define food if I ask you? So it is, it would be anything that organisms eat or drink for their survival. So these organisms could be uh, human beings, it could be some other animals. So when you talk about organisms, it could be human beings, it could be animals like rabbit, cat, even birds, cows. So every organism, every living organism, they need food. They need to eat something. So whatever we eat or drink, whether it is pizza or burger or rice or cold drink, whatever we eat or drink, everything falls under the category of food. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about where do we get our food from? So we might eat burger which has a lot of stuffs in it. It has cheese, it has veggies, it has bread, it has a lot of stuff, it has sauce. So from where exactly are we getting all these things? So we will look in detail about on the sources of food. So to start with, we got to know that food is anything that we eat. Not We, we refers to all living organisms, not only human beings. Now, what exactly do we eat? So now, in, in the beginning of this lesson, we will consider human beings because we all can relate to ourselves more. We can relate to what we eat. So if I ask you that what are the things that you normally eat? So you might say vegetables, fruits, milk, uh, those who are non-vegetarian might say fish, meat, egg. Right? So there is actually a huge variety of things which we eat in our day to day life. We eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. So when it comes to fruits and vegetables, there is a huge variety in that itself. So when it comes to fruits, it could be apple, banana, oranges, grapes, pomegranate. It could be pineapple, mango, lychee. So huge variety of fruits. When it comes to vegetables, again, it could be cauliflower, cabbage, potato, onion, uh, carrot, radish, ladyfinger, so you know again a huge variety of vegetables and with, with the help of these fruits and vegetables we prepare a lot of dishes as well. Those who eat non-veg that is uh, food which is obtained from other animals they also consume fish, meat, egg, some of the some of our basic food items like rice, or roti or chapati, bread. So all of these are obtained from rice, wheat, flour. So these the are like the basic things. We, we do not eat curry alone. We do not eat the vegetables alone. We eat it with something else like rice or chapati or bread. Again, we might have uh, food like sandwiches, burgers, pizzas, french fries, cold drinks. So these are also food items. Again, you can have dairy products like milk, cheese, uh, paneer, curd, yogurt. So these are all uh, products which are obtained from milk. So these milk products could also be the items that you eat. So when it comes to food or when it comes to what we eat, there is actually a huge variety of food that we eat. Now, from where do we get each of these foods? So if I ask you, from where do you get a sandwich? You might say that, okay, I get a sandwich from my mom. My mom prepares a sandwich for me, okay. But from where does your mom get all the ingredients to prepare a sandwich? Then you might say that, okay, my mom generally goes to the market and she gets the vegetables, she gets the cheese, she gets the bread and that's how she prepares it. But from where do these ingredients come to the shops? So we are going to look at it in a deeper way that from where exactly all these food items are coming and how are they reaching us. The question is why are we eat, why do we need food? Why are we eating so much of food? So this huge variety which you see that's because food is required for the survival of the entire population. 
So if you talk about any living organism, whether it is human being or it is uh, an insect, a tiny insect, all of them need food. Without food, they would die. They would not be able to survive. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.